Hi, I'm Aaron Stang. And I'm Bill Purse. We're the authors of Alfred Music's Sound Innovations for Guitar. We're pretty excited about this method. We feel like it's pretty different and extremely practical. One of the main focuses in writing this method was we wanted to really get across really um, critical guitar skills, really uh, the basic ones like strumming, finger picking, playing all your chords, playing fundamental rock and blues riffs that you'll use the rest of your life, and playing like a real wide variety of music. Mm -hmm. Plus students perform in groups and ensembles throughout the entire book. If you're playing alone or they play at home, they can perform with the CD recordings that are included. Also one thing we did that's a little different, we started on the bottom string. Very important for several reasons. It helps you establish really good hand position from the very beginning and it's really key to getting us going on chords and rock riffs immediately. Mm -hmm. Plus, they can use our play-along tracks to play with their band. Right, and speaking of the play-along tracks, we also have embedded on the DVD, on the DVD is some software called SI Player Software. Using that, you can loop the tracks over and over again, and you can even slow them down, and you can access play-along tracks, like Music Minus One tracks, so there's lots of opportunities to play. Um, as we know, a lot of class guitar teachers are really primarily school band, marching band, orchestra, choral directors, and guitar isn't their primary instrument. So we've really tried to provide all the tools. You and I discuss and demonstrate every concept and technique on the DVD. We do the same thing on the MP3 recordings. We discuss and demonstrate everything. So if you're kind of new to guitar, even as a teacher, your musical ability and training is critical, and we're going to help you out with those little things about the guitar that are unique so that you feel like you can play this instrument and get going and even learn right along as you go. Okay, I'd like to introduce the A minor chord that we're going to look at. And if you'll notice, it's kind of a familiar friend. We had played the E major earlier, and if we maintain the exact same fingering and shape, we can move it towards the floor, and we have an A minor.